morning, afternoon, evening, YouTube. Hope we are good. So today is day nine. So it's January the 9th, which means it's day nine of my mini cut. And I checked in this morning with my coach. And as I predicted in last week's video, no changes. So yeah, we've managed to lose basically four and a half pounds this week. And yeah, although this morning I weighed in at 151.8, which is four pounds exactly down from the starting weight. However, we did hit a low of 151.2 earlier in the week, but at the moment I am eagerly awaiting the start of my period, which is like, I'm on day 31 of my cycle right now. So give it another couple of days before I really start panicking. Um, yes, if you have been following along for a while, you'll know that I missed a period in November. So I got one last month and then I'm really hoping that things stay regular this time. So we'll see. And then, you know, I imagine let's say when my period starts, not if, when it starts, then I imagine I'll have another drop off in weight. So yeah, no changes this week because we've made a big, big drop and um, made a lot of changes. As I explained in last week's video, I feel like that's the approach my coach takes. Make a big change at the beginning and then you don't keep having to change week on week. So everything is already set to go this week. I already like, you know, know my meals that I've been having. I'm going to show you along today my full day of eating, like what I'm having at the moment. It's a training day, so I've got upper one today which is a gym across the road and I, it's like a session with, it's like, ugh, this is really warm. Um, I'm sat next to a radiator, that's why. But yeah, there is like 12 working sets for back in this session. So I usually get a really good back pump. And then I do a shoulder press for three sets and then I do three sets of laterals, three sets of bicep curls to finish. And that is the session. I'll do some abs at the end as well. So that's the session I've got today. It's my favorite session of the week actually. So yeah, I've already had oats this morning. That's my meal one, 50 grams of oats with berries, peanut butter, whey. And then meal two, what I've been having pre-workout is, so it's like a 25 gram protein quota for that meal and most meals to be fair. And um, I made the mistake of buying Richmond sausages, which are terrible macros if you are doing like net macros because it's like almost like an even distribution of protein, fats and carbs, which doesn't help me contribute towards anything. And it's like, I'm tracking in like, Barely, they're barely any protein basically. I think it's like eight grams for like two sausages or something shit. So, and then you get like five grams of fat with that, which isn't ideal. So I've, I've actually been adding that towards my fat quota as well. Uh, even though like I explained in my previous video, I, I work on like trace macros, but while I'm dieting, I don't really want to take the piss and just kind of pull five grams of fat from like sausages, which I'd usually use like heck, which have no fat really, or minimal fat. And um, I don't really want to kind of take add fat on from the fact that I'm having these fattier sausages and then just bring my overall fat like quantity up on the days that I have these Richmond ones which I'm using them up because I bought them and then I'm like never gonna get them again because they just uh, yeah I only to be fair the only reason I, I ended up with them was because I did an Asda online delivery order and like it was like a substitute for the heck and I was like oh it'd be fine they're chicken sausages and then I took them in and then realised that the macros do not work. So I won't be getting them again. And I will be refusing if they're a substitute ever again. Um, so anyway, yeah, at the moment I'm using them up. I'm having two, um, any more than two, and it really racks the fats up. And I'd rather have fats elsewhere as well. So I'm having two of them with like 50 grams of chicken, which makes up my 25 grams of protein. And then I'm having like 270 grams of potatoes with that meal because that's 40 grams of carbs. And yeah, that's the meal pretty much. So that's what I've eaten now. Um, slightly hungry. I feel like that's just part of being in a diet. Like I'm not like full going into my sessions like I usually would be because it's not that much food. Um, but that's what I've had. And yeah, that's it. I don't have any cardio today. I haven't done cardio since Friday. I uh, explained in my last video that I was getting my brows done. Don't know if you can tell. They've been like topped up with microblading. So I've had four days off cardio to kind of not sweat on my brows basically while the ink's kind of settling. So yeah, but then I'll do like tomorrow. So Wednesday through till Sunday, five days this week to get my five lots of cardio in. So it's good that cardio hasn't been upped, but yeah, that's the, the main update. So we're still on 12K steps, five lots of 30 minutes cardio. The food is, is averaging out about 1900 calories on a training day and like about 1700 on a rest day, which I, you know, it's okay. Like my hunger's subsided and you do get used to kind of like not quite being full. Funnily enough, when you're dieting and you're eating in a calorie deficit, like you're probably not going to be like really full. So obviously after doing like multiple show preps and stuff like that, I'm used to the feeling of that. So it doesn't bother me really. Um, my only thing that would bother me would be like losing strength in the gym or like energy going. But at the moment, energy's fine. You know, it doesn't feel like I'm dieting from that perspective. Um, so yeah, let's go and get it in the gym. And then I will show you what I eat after my session.
Delightful session complete at Altered Image Gym. So, yeah, always do my upper one Tuesday session at Altered Image. I like the hammer strength, pin loaded, pull down. I like the life fitness row that they got in just before Christmas as well. So, I mean, I've got memberships to both gyms with the fact that this one is literally opposite my house. So, it like works for cardio, obviously. So, it's worth having a membership just for that. But, yeah. There's good kit in here as well, good kit in both gyms, and I like having the flexibility of going to both. You know, when I'm short on time, I'll come here. But like I said, I also come here specifically on a Tuesday because it's got good upper kit, and I specifically like those pieces. And yeah, so good session was had. Didn't film a whole lot of it just because this gym gets pretty busy. It's uh, nearly three o'clock now. I got here at like half one ish, and well, it was like quarter past one minutes the session, I think. And yeah, like I. Yeah, it's just when there's a busy gym, I just don't like to film because obviously then you're definitely going to get quite a lot of people in the background. Whereas obviously House of Gains, like even if you did get one person in the background, like they'd more than likely be the type of person that also films their own training and stuff like that because it's just a different demographic that trains at House of Gains. So it's kind of like, yeah, know, know your gym, know, know the members. Um, no, but it was a good session. I mean, I didn't progress on the shoulder press. I had actually, even on the third set, had to drop the load because the first couple of sets was like four reps, then six reps, and it was just like, well, yeah, I wanna get like a higher rep set. So I ended up dropping the load a little bit and getting 10 reps, but yeah, I mean, week two in a, a hefty deficit, because obviously I, there was a big 1400 calorie drop in, and also, you know, pre-period. So there's a combination of factors there as to why my strength is dipping a little bit so far this week, because I didn't progress on the pendulum or leg press yesterday either. Um, but yeah, all the sort of uh, accessory movements seem to be progressing still. It's just the, the ones that demand a lot of energy and a lot of fuel, which you get from food, funnily enough. And I don't really have that at the moment, which is absolutely fine. I'm just pushing myself. The intensity is still there. All you can do when you're dieting is just obviously push to your absolute limits, uh, as you always should. 100% uh, effort into every set, every rep, and uh, that's what I'm doing, so can't complain. It's temporary, seven weeks left of this mini cut, and then we go back up into a push, so. Anyway, home is calling now. So back home, I literally have a couple of rice cakes, uh, which, are, which is like 20 grams of carbs. And then it's uh, a yogurt meal, which is always my meal three now, I've decided. So yeah, the sort of 25 gram protein meal that's carbless. <laughs> I do that and uh, yeah, woo. In fact, I'll have the, I think what I'm gonna do because I had the, the sausage fats, but only five grams worth in their last meal. I'm gonna actually move a second five grams of fat and a bit of, bit of dark chocolate in my yogurt as well today. Yeah. And then I won't have any more fats until my last meal, which is oats again, because I like to have like chocolate and Nutella in that. End the day on a good note. Oh.
Okie dokie. It's the 0% fire yogurt. I wonder if it still says how to pronounce. Yeah, it does pronounce fire. <laughs> it still says it on the packaging. Because no one gets it right, let's be honest. But it's a. Uh, could just call it Farge, but nothing, not hard to say fire, is it really? So, yeah, gonna have 200 grams of this stuff. And sounds random AF, but to get 25 grams of protein from yogurt. But then I also like to have a, like a little bit of flavour. I'm not going to lie, I don't like the taste of plain natural yoghurt. So in order to get this tasting nice by adding whey, but I also want as much volume as possible, you know, for satiety reasons. So you can get 200 grams of this. And then if you've got a good flavoursome whey protein, you can add as little as eight grams. And that gets you 25 grams of protein. So I've got the Perform Whey, obviously, all of my ways are Perform. The lemon cheesecake one is coming to its end now. So yes, it's like, there's hardly anything left, but I just add eight grams to my yogurt. And then we have our 25 gram protein and it tastes decent. Like it goes from tasting like plain yogurt to tasting like lemon cheesecake. That was nine grams, obviously got to take a gram off because we're dieting now. So everything needs to be a lot more accurate. You know, in a gaining phase, you gram over and you're like, oh, well, there's no oh well when we're dieting. So yeah, <clears throat> that's that, mix it in. And I've still got to have my uh, rice cakes to be fair, but I just want this now because I'm hungry. And this will fill me up more than a couple of rice cakes, which I will have in a little bit. Got the Asda's, just standard, like lightly salted ones. And then I've just got the um, Hartley's raspberry jam that I had on that, 14 grams. So two rice cakes and 14 grams of jam makes up 20 grams of carbs. So all these quantities are random, but I am very much a numbers person. So they'll stick in my head and, you know, obviously then I track them in every day as well. Also, if I add 61 grams of red grapes, Again, that's off the top of my head from doing this for the first time yesterday. I'm an absolute weirdo when it comes to numbers and remembering exact numbers. But if I had 61 grams of red grapes, that gives me five grams of carbs. So I'm gonna take that from fruit for this meal. And then I'll probably have the other sort of five grams later. Um, yeah, which is just a tactical way of having a little bit of something to kind of tide me over when I get a little bit peckish later. Cause this is kind of meal three now and it's, uh, half past three so then I've kind of got to wait till about half seven eight o'clock for meal four so in between then if I have like a little spring a little, the rice cakes in a little bit the extra half of the grapes um to get sort of 10 grams of carbs from fruit but separating it the tactical little ways that we diet you know and that's how I'm gonna do the rest of the day so yes Put the chocolate in that I talked about earlier as well. So if you haven't had the little dark chocolate, you haven't lived basically. It's unreal. And um, especially the raspberry one is my favorite, but also just like the plain dark chocolate one is nice as well. So yes, 13 grams of this is five grams of fat. So that's what we do, 13 grams. Yeah. Good morning, afternoon, YouTube. Is this really me? Recording a full day of eating and then finishing it the day after. Yeah, I don't really like filming in the evenings. You, you've probably gauged that by now. Wind down time, you know, finish my meal three yesterday. Then obviously I had work to do and then I just want to chill in the evening. So yes, I did record my meals though, but they pretty much what you already saw. It's another potato meal with hex sausages this time because I've finished off the Richmond ones and I'm back to heck. So yeah. You get a lot more for your 25 grams of protein by having heck volume wise than you do by having cooked chicken. So yes, I prefer heck at the moment, even though it's more expensive, obviously. So I had five heck sausages with 140 grams of potatoes as my meal four. And then meal five is another 50 gram oat bowl with again, 10 grams of carbs from fruit. So I'm having a lot of berries at the moment. And then I like my final 10 grams of fat to come from 17 grams of Nutella and my piece of dark chocolate, which equates to 10 grams of fat for meal five. And that's how things are rolling at the moment. Yes, so 
that's it. I woke up this morning and my period started. Yes. So yeah, I probably need to stop stressing about my period because then it definitely won't come, but it's regular right now and I'm happy about that. I'm bloated, I've got cramps and, you know, I did do my cardio this morning. As far as I'm concerned, the brows are still looking fine. They're about to go, they're in the middle of a sort of flaking off phase now where the ink starts to flake out and then, and then I'll be good. So yes, got my rest of the week full of cardio now and the week and next week as well because next week I'm going away all weekend to a cottage for a friend's birthday so that's going to be interesting I'll be discussing that with my coach in next week's check-in with regards to like how we're going to navigate the weekend because I'll be away for the whole weekend you know maybe drinking involved the weekend after is another friend's birthday which again is away for a night um so yeah I've got a couple of birthday weekends coming up which we are going to like you know navigate through this mini cut and still make progress so I will keep you all updated on how that goes but yes for now all good in the hood and yeah pretty sure I've covered off everything that I could possibly cover off at this point I don't think there's anything else to say off to train lower two right now and yeah got a good few sessions to come this week hoping the weight drops back off because it was up again this morning in the 152s obviously with period and stuff so once the period goes, we should see things drop back down and then, yes, we'll be on to another fresh week of weight loss, which is what the goal is at the moment, of course. So, yes, any questions, as always, just pop them down below. Coaching inquiries, same, there's a link below to inquire for coaching. And, yeah, everything else below is just the, the link to use my code um, with my supplement company that I work with. And apart from that, you can get a link to my Instagram as well if you don't already follow me on Instagram. That's everything. I think I've covered off so yeah don't forget to like the video if you've got this far and you've enjoyed it if you're new please do subscribe and yes I will see you all next week ciao for now